Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel and my space. For those of you who are new, my name is Raquel. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to another one of my videos. I love all the support you've been showing me and my channel and my community lately, and um, I just love y'all. So, um, this is going to be a reading for February 15th through the 21st. This will not apply to every single Gemini as these are general messages. So take what resonates and throw the rest out. Um, put yourself wherever you resonate best in the story. If it does not resonate with you at all, please go check your other sign videos located here on my channel. All my other disclaimers are in the description box below and we are going to get right to it. All right, so Gemini, let's see what your main message is. Community. Community, so fun times, fun gatherings. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a gathering with your soul tribe, who you are meant to be with. Um, this is going out, this is having a good time, having fun with your community. But the reason why I say soul tribe is because of the number up here, seven. Seven is a very spiritual number. So I see you interacting and hanging out with a lot of the members of your spiritual tribe, those who, you know, came here with you um, and are like your mem your tribe on the other side. Okay, so it's, it's really about getting to know them, hanging out with them, um, having good times with them, having meetings of the mind as well as the spirit. All right, so let's see what angel is around you and what the angel wants to say. Oh, geez. Okay. Trust. Okay. So we've got Uriel and we've got trust. Now trust with community and how I was saying this is your soul tribe. These are the people that um, are meant to lift you up, are meant to help you out. You're hanging out with them this weekend. And it's like you are for forming this new bond of trust with these people. Or it could be that you're, that you finally see a community or a group of people that you know has your back, that you know who you can trust, okay? Um, it might not be a ton of people. It just might be one or two people that you hang out with that you know, yes, this is my soul tribe, okay? Um, but it's like this weekend you or this week you come to that level of trust and understanding, and it's like you finally realize, yes, I'm home. These are my people. All right. Okay, so we're going to break it down with the tarot. Please excuse my bad manicure. Um, <laughs> I need to get a new I need to get a new manicure done. Um, I hurt my fingers, so I haven't been able to get my nails filled. So, yeah, I had to um, clip them down so they look a little raunchy. Sorry. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. This community and trust. actually hurt myself. Ooh. Hold on. Man, oh man, Gemini. Okay. One more shuffle and then I'll cut for you. We've got bottom of the deck. We have the emperor. So an Aries could be involved with in your life right now, or this is you taking back control of a situation or controlling some sort of situation. For some of you, I feel like this is you controlling your destiny. Um, others of you, you could be, you could end up being the leader, the leader of this, you know, like soul tribe or community here. 
We've got the Eight of Wands, so lots of communication. The Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn-like energy. So Aries and Capricorn I'm getting from here. But it looks like this; these people have helped you heal. There is enough, there's the Queen of Wands, too. That's also Aries energy. So um, Aries is a big factor for you, Gemini. Uh, we've got the King of Cups, which is a Scorpio as well. So there's a lot of people in your soul tribe. I see you hanging out with a lot of people this weekend, communicating with them um this is a very healing time for you um and yeah it's just you working together and you finally you're finally getting the people that understand you or you're getting people that get you and it's like oh it's beautiful i love this for you gemini but yeah communication taking communication some of you might be the one that's throwing this get together some of you might be the one that is really stepping forth into that leadership role and you're communicating with your tribe like this is what i want to do this is what i think we should do and it's like there's trust there's a lot of trust in you as well you trust them but there's also a lot of trust in you people look up to you like a leader um or it could be you're looking up to an aries who is like a leader to for you to you all right so we've got the hermit sorry with the glare we've got the eight of cups and then we've got the page of wands this is coming out for a lot of people a lot of people this week must be a page of wands week all right so the three of cups is influencing the hermit the High Priestess is influencing the Eight of Cups. And the Fool is influencing the Page of Wands. Okay, so with this, um, there might be a lot of social gatherings that you're invited to. There might be things that um, you want or people want you to come to this weekend. But it's like you don't want to do that. You want to go into Hermit Mode. Um, and they're saying you need to trust your intuition. You need to get out. You've been in that you've been indoors or you have been, you know, not around a lot of people lately. And it's like you've been sequestering or closing yourself off. You need to go out there, get out there into the world, especially with your own tribe. You know, some you you've been you've been by yourself hermited for so long. It's like now you need to actually get out there and do something. For some, for others of you, this could be that you are tired of always going out. You're always tired of hanging out with people and you just want to go into hermit mode. So take that however it resonates with you. But I do see this this week, you know, community and trust. It's like trust in your community, trust in your soul tribe, trust in the people that are around you. Um, if you're afraid of going hermit, because you're afraid that if you do sequester to yourself, um, if you're afraid that they're going to not um, not be around anymore, trust that they will. They'll understand, especially if you say, look, I've been hanging out so much. I kind of need to be by myself for a little bit, just for just for a while. Um, and for others of you, it's like you need to trust that these people are here to help you, to help pull you out of that hermit's hermit mode um i'm trying to give two <laughs> two um things that i'm seeing here because like i said i want to resonate with the most with the best of you, most of you. Uh, i can't talk all right so we've got the eight of cups and then we've got the high priestess so the high priestess is influencing the eight of cups she's behind them saying hey pay attention to your intuition you're walking away from something or some situation and you're moving towards a situation that is better for you and you're doing this based on your own intuition here you might be leaving one friend group and going to another friend group is what i'm feeling um you're leaving behind old acquaintances that weren't so good for you or weren't so right for you and you're moving on to your new acquaintances your new soul tribe all right this is the fool is influencing the page of wands. Now with this, it's like, yes, take that risk, take that risk. And the page of wands is like, okay, let's do it. I'm all in. 
all right? Because that's the page of wand-like energy. They're very brave. They go forward. They, they don't care about the risks. They just jump right in. They dive right in. And that's what the fool is saying to do. So whatever this passion is, whatever this person is, maybe it's a group of people. Maybe you started liking a new group of people and you see that your old group of people is not fitting you right. It's saying trust that this new group of people is the right group for you and jump, dive right in. Walk away from the old, the old negative, the people that aren't... Um, that aren't for you or aren't with you um, and go towards the people that are the ones that most resonate with you. Okay. All right. So let's get some advice for you, Gemini, some advice for the week. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. Okay. So with this, this is saying, you know, Stand out. You're meant to stand out. You're meant to be the person that you're meant to be. And you're meant to have um, your friends, your family, those who do care about you, see that in you, okay? And if they can't see that in you, go towards the group that sees that in you, okay? You are a rare breed. You got some things going on. And, you know, you just got to have that courage to, to push yourself into better things trust that the universe has your back all right well that's all i'm getting for you gemini if you resonated with this please give my video a thumbs up um i love it when you guys comment below um you know how you resonate with this i love reading those comments and i like replying so please let me know in the comments below how you liked this reading also, if you love it and you want to get further readings from me, I post weekly, um, please hit that subscribe button and I wish you all a very um, blessed week or fruitful, abundant, happy week. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> um, wish you all a nice week ahead. Happy Valentine's Day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.